Be Wealthy and Smart, episode 1361. into a world of wealth and financial freedom without budgets, boredom, or bosses on Be Wealthy and Smart. And now, here's your host, Linda P. Jones. Welcome to Be Wealthy and Smart. I'm Linda P. Jones, America's Wealth Mentor, empowering women and men worldwide to financial freedom. On today's show, we're going to talk about 15 cities where rent has declined the most. Now, this is good news because all we've been talking about for the last couple of years is how high inflation is and how everything's going up. So I thought it would be a good change to bring to you a podcast about how prices are going down, specifically in rents, which is a little bit unexpected. This article was written by Mike Winters and appeared on CNBC.com. And he said, rent prices have been a lone bright spot amid high inflation as one bedroom homes in many cities are cheaper than they were a year ago. All of the 15 cities in the U.S. with the biggest year-over-year drops in price are in the Sun Belt, which stretches across southern and southwestern states, according to a rent report from an online realtor, Zumper. The drop in rental costs are part of a broader cooling trend, as roughly half of the 100 largest cities have posted declines since last year. The national median price for a one-bedroom unit is $1,504 as of May, exactly the same as a year ago. While one-bedroom rental prices ticked up 1.2% on a monthly basis in May, they've mostly been flat in 2024. Stalling prices have provided much-needed breathing room for Americans, feeling squeezed by high inflation, especially for housing, which is typically the largest expense in a monthly budget. The decline in rental prices in southern cities is largely due to increased construction of rental units, but also population loss in some cities, especially in California, Zumper study says. One-bedroom prices in Greensboro, North Carolina, are down 11.9% in the last year, the highest of all major cities. The city has encouraged new construction through property annexation and zoning reform, adding thousands of rental units in 2023. Here's a look at the 15 U.S. cities with the largest drops in one-bedroom rental prices for the year ending May 24th, according to Zumper's data. As I said, number one was Greensboro, North Carolina, whose average price decrease was 11.9%, and now a median one-bedroom rent is $960. The second largest decrease was in Gilbert, Arizona. Year-over-year price decrease, 10.5%, and the median one-bedroom rental price, $1,450. Third is Fort Worth, Texas, year-over-year price decrease, 10.3%, median one-bedroom rent price, $1,220. Number four is Raleigh, North Carolina, year-over-year price decrease, 9.8%, and median one-bedroom rent price, $1,290. Also in North Carolina, Durham is number five, year-over-year price decrease, 9.6%, median one-bedroom rent price, $1,420. Now, our first drop from California, Oakland, had a year-over-year price decrease of 9.1%. Median one-bedroom rent price, $2,000. Also in California, Sacramento is number seven with a year-over-year price decrease of 8.1%. Median one-bedroom rent price is $1,470. Number eight is from Irving, Texas. Year-over-year price decrease, 8%. Median one-bedroom rent price, $1,270. Back to Arizona for number nine, Scottsdale had a year-over-year price decrease, 7.6%, median one-bedroom rent price, $1,710. Then to Florida and Tallahassee, number 10, year-over-year price decrease, 7.3%, median one-bedroom rent price, $1,020. Back to Arizona, this time to Glendale, number 11, year-over-year price decrease, 7.1%, median one-bedroom rent price, $1,180. Number 12 is Houston, Texas. Year-over-year price decrease, 6.9%. Median one-bedroom rent price, $1,210. Next is Dallas. Number 13, year-over-year price decrease, 6.9%. 
Median one-bedroom rent price, $1,350. Also in Texas, Austin is number 14. Year-over-year price decrease, 6.3%. Median one-bedroom rent price, $1,500. And finally, Augusta, Georgia. Year-over-year price decrease was 5.9% and median one-bedroom rent price was $960. So interesting that they're all in the Sun Belt, and interesting somewhere in California, which we wouldn't expect, except there have been migration trends out of California, but they've been migrating to Texas and Florida, which had some cities that had rental decreases, and they've also been migrating to Arizona, which had three cities that had rental decreases. So very interesting and a little bit unexpected information. If you're looking to rent somewhere, maybe that helped you out. I hope that gave you some fresh ideas for some affordable alternatives. If you haven't yet subscribed to Be Wealthy and Smart, hit the subscribe button and you'll be notified as soon as new podcasts are available. And all of my podcasts are on my website at lindapjones.com forward slash podcasts. And while you're there, sign up for my weekly newsletter for more wealth tips for your financial freedom. That's all for today. Until next time, live the good life and be wealthy and smart. Thank you for listening to Be Wealthy and Smart with Linda P. Jones. Share the wealth and tell your family and friends about the show. Check out our website, blog, and social media for more riches at www.bewealthyandsmart.com.